What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and this Saturday morning we are receiving reports that progress is being made on a stimulus reconciliation bill. That is right, stimulus for more provisions. This is your breaking news, stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now first off, happy Saturday to you and the family. I hope that you guys are enjoying the day. Just wanted to give you a quick update as we have new information rolling out this morning. Take a look you guys, now this was yesterday. I reported to you, will Joe Manchin breathe new life into the Build Back Better bill? Senator Joe Manchin told Axios that he is talking to Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer about a pared down version of the bill that tackles climate change, energy, and deficit reduction. And we heard that progress was being made on a reconciliation bill for stimulus. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer was connecting with Joe Manchin, and they believed they were going to get something done. Sounded very optimistic. Well, take a look at the articles coming out this morning. Democrats see progress with Manchin in a last-ditch talk. On Biden's economic agenda, some experts say that there is potential for a bill that would raise $1 trillion in revenue and spend only $5 billion, though the senators' discussions, their discussions could still fall apart. So I'm going to be giving you the latest update as we're hearing they are making progress on this, and we're going to be seeing what unfolds. Now, as you guys know, here on the channel, I keep you up to date on all of this stuff. This is on a federal level, but that's not all. Also, I let you know about states, counties, and cities passing their own packages, and in many cases, their own checks. And if you missed my last video, you might want to check it out as there are checks going out right now, approved, past stimulus, that's on its way. However, in some cases, you have to apply for it. And we're hearing about 90% of the people that are eligible for this money, they're not receiving it because they don't know about it. And I want to make sure that that is not the case with any of my viewing community here, the Ram Fam. I'm going to make sure you know about everything going on. So again, if you missed my last video, check it out. And also, we have a project underway to create a comprehensive list of all the checks on various levels so that way you know what's available and you don't miss out on anything. So keep an eye out for that. Also, if you missed the video, we heard that if legislation does not get passed right away in these midterm elections, President Joe Biden said he's gonna step up and do executive orders and executive actions and we've heard that the first of many could be on its way as soon as right now, this weekend. We're hearing it might be a little bit delayed, but if you missed my last video, check it out. We're hearing that executive orders and actions might be on the way if they can't come to agreements on stimulus provisions. And also, if you missed out, <laughs> there's been a lot going on. Unemployment is back as well. That's right, you remember the federal unemployment benefits, PUA, PEUC, the $300 per week boost, well, a lot of states ended those early, before the September cutoff in 2021, and those cases have gone to court. We're hearing in Ohio, you might be eligible for a $3,000 check of back pay, missed unemployment, but we will see. Right now, it's currently in court. I get you all the details in that video as well. I'll keep you up to date on everything going on. So you guys, that is the latest that's unfolding right now, but let's dive into the details. But before we do, also, do me a quick favor. Just takes a second. Smash that like button if you appreciate the updates. Helps me out a ton. Thank you so much. Leave your comments. Share this out. If this is your first time here and you want to come join the Ram Fam to stay up to date, totally free. Why not? All you got to do is hit the subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. And keep an eye out for my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. If you're interested, I'll pin a comment down below. Click the link, go subscribe. I'm trying to help provide more information to people that are interested in changing their lives financially. But with that being said, you guys, let's dive into the details of what's coming out this morning on agreements within the Democratic Party in the Senate for more stimulus. So link in the description below to this article that just came out this morning, four hours ago from the time of this recording. And it says, Democrats see progress with Joe Manchin in last ditch talks on Biden's economic agenda. And it says, Democrats, they're hoping to quietly have negotiations between Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Joe Manchin, and that they can quickly produce an agreement to advance key elements of President Biden's economic agenda before a narrowing window to pass ambitious legislation ahead of the midterm elections closes. And yes, this is the midterm elections. We're hearing if Democrats don't get things done, there's going to be a red wave. Republicans are going to take seats in the House and in the Senate, and we will have a Republican Republican Congress with the Democratic president, meaning it's very likely Biden's agenda will not get pushed through. Also, we're hearing that they want to get this done quietly because before we had heard the White House had kind of put Joe Manchin on blast for not wanting to extend out some of the provisions, and he got a lot of backlash. 
and did not appreciate it. So now they're saying, let's quietly discuss this. So as details unfold, I'll be sure to let you know, but we're hearing they're trying to keep it under wraps. Now it says, Mr. Manchin, a Democrat from West Virginia, and Mr. Schumer, a Democrat from New York, have held a series of meetings in recent weeks on a package focused on lowering prescription drugs, raising taxes, and bolstering energy production in the United States. Now, while the substance of those conversations remain closely held, now, some Democrats and outside analysts are expecting a possible agreement could be raising $1 trillion in revenue and spend about $500 billion over a decade, with roughly half of new revenue dedicated toward reducing the deficit. The spending would focus on tax incentives and reducing carbon emissions and some support for fossil fuels, as well as an extension of subsidies for purchasing health insurance under the Affordable Care Act. Now, such a package, if agreed to, would represent dramatic drops from the roughly $2 trillion in spending on healthcare, education, and climate initiatives that Democrats in the House had approved last year. But after Mr. Manchin killed those efforts in the 50-50 Senate where Democrats need his support to approve legislation along these party lines, party lawmakers are now desperate to reach an agreement with the centrist holdout in these midterms as they near. So as you will recall, the Build Back Better bill, initially they wanted to have stimulus checks, child tax credits, an assortment of different provisions. We had Pramila Jayapal, Bernie Sanders, AOC, a lot of progressives calling for $6 trillion, $7 trillion, $10 trillion in spending, reoccurring monthly stimulus checks, all of these provisions which have now been cut down and it's been narrowed down further and further and further. And Joe Manchin is saying we want to pass just the absolute necessary at this time and we want to have it paid for and we want to uh, pass something that's going to get rid of debt not add to the debt now we've also heard progressives and several democrats say that's fine pass through whatever you can so that we can show that we're going to be passing legislation and that whatever doesn't get through that are key provisions we'd like to see that will help us out in the midterm elections as well pass them through executive order and executive action and we've heard tons of provisions that have hit that we're keeping an eye on that we think might come through in executive orders, one of which, of course, is stimulus checks. Now, jumping down, Mr. Schumer told Senate Democrats during a party meeting Tuesday that negotiations with Mr. Manchin were going well, according to the attendee, though Mr. Schumer didn't guarantee that they would reach a deal. Mr. Manchin recently said that at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, that he thought the deal was possible. He said there's a responsibility and opportunity that we can do something, Mr. Manchin said. Now, jumping down. We also heard from Sheldon Whitehouse who said clearly there is a real prospect for reconciliation, but there is also the prospect of complete failure. Now also, Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm said the question really is timing. We're really running out of time. We're running up against the clock on this. And also, we have so much more that we can do, but you can't do it by abandoning the fossil industry that gives the ability to have reliability and security, not just for our nation, but for the world that is needing it today, said Manchin at those, that Davos conference. So let me know your thoughts. They're saying this sounds very optimistic. They're gonna be getting something done here, but the question is, it sounds like coming over and over is, timing. Are they going to be able to get this done in time for the midterm elections? And a lot of people I'm hearing are arguing that it's already past time. It's overdue, that it's too little, too late. Let me know your thoughts, you guys. Now, we're going to be seeing, because even if that is the case, will the president step up and do executive orders and executive actions for child tax credits, getting rid of student loan debt, uh, adding stimulus checks, an assortment of different things that people are still asking for and saying we still need and is even needed even more so with our economic issues we're feeling with 40-year high inflation, high gas prices, high food prices, which we're hearing is only going to be getting worse. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But you guys, that is the latest just coming out on negotiations for a reconciliation bill for more stimulus. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me, even on a Saturday. I hope that this was uh, a good update for you. And if you appreciated it, don't forget, take a quick second, smash the like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, totally free. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3 and consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. Have a great Saturday. This is Steve.